Part time. I'm sorry, go ahead. And, and she could knock out, well, we figured she, she could knock out gas in the two to 300 parcels a day. She'll be walking. Met her out. Uh, previous discussion was two to three hundred in a normal couple hour run because it's again what it is just like we are now we're logged by streets she has section block and lots they'll be pre-programmed into the uh, digital camera and she'll just be going down the block click, click, click. Well, in the village when, the village especially yeah. when you get out in the in the town it may be a little more costly for her yeah time wise from traveling from parcel to parcel it's possible yeah. Just a, a question, Dennis, on um, paying her per parcel while she's a part-time employee. Mm -hmm. uh, I ran into a situation where I had to pay both at one time. It was as long as they were on, had employee status. The overage for the special things that she did, she still got paid. Not she, are my employee. Right. Still got paid the wage we had to pay her as a part-time employee and the additional contract that amount was over and above. This all happened at a later date and came back to us. Uh, we lost. Uh, so I, I just want to make sure that we're not paying two things you know, twice. Yes. No, two total separate things. In fact, she can only right. work on this project separate and distinct from her regular part-time employee hours. Being specifically designated that she, she cannot, for instance, if she she, we have a slow day around town hall, and she has to work till noon. She can't take off at 11 and put an hour in on this project. It's totally on her own time, as she may select. But as, as Kenny indicated, if she's out in the field and she doesn't make the minimum wage, she's still an employee, where do we go? If she doesn't work, she, she's not able to complete the number of parcels out in the field to make the minimum wage, you know, I mean, there are okay. well, and what have you. What type of liability? Yeah, it shouldn't. No, this is per per. Yeah, you can't have an employee. You know, even if it's seven or eight dollars an hour. If she does run away, she does three hundred a day. That's five hundred seventy-five dollars. Yeah, exactly. There'd be no problem at all. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, as a practical matter, I don't see this problem. Oh yeah, and I think the problem is that now. She won't be doing it. Right, but even right. seven parcels right. an hour uh, at a dollar seventy-five, you're upwards of eleven dollars. That's just seven parcels an hour. So you an have to hour. Drive through, take pictures, and drive. all I'm saying is, on that particular day, one picture, if she doesn't, picture. whatever. Right. On that particular what day, she, her car gets stuck on the side of the road or whatever, and she can't complete that. I just want to make sure that I'm telling I you. I was, uh, I mean, I was involved in a big right. lawsuit with a big corporation, and we lost. Yeah. And on part-time people, we, we may lose again in their part-time status. So we, I want to be careful. I don't know what I'm saying. I understand. She can do this whole thing. Yeah, no, that's not wrong. put her on uh, initially and then vote on this on <coughs> Thursday. Oh, we certainly we can vote oh, on sure. Thursday. Yeah, okay. Okay. I mean, no, I yeah, in fairness, it now. no, no, no. no. In fairness, she has, uh, oh, okay. yeah, okay. she has not seen it. I think she has not seen it. Well, she, well, she knows the vision term. Well, well, she basically wanted to start this tomorrow. That's why. Uh, mm -hmm. Hey, we can we can do this right away. Well, I think right one uh, being uh, knowing your status in the town, she should yeah. trust the town, if you will, oh, yeah. and yourselves. I'm sure yeah. if she had the time, she would start on it, even without the contract, knowing it's going to be approved on Thursday. Right. right. You know, in whatever form, it could be amended or modified. Yeah, she I don't is, think she is um, very anxious to do this. She is. She's willing to do this. Yeah. She's uh, she is the person to do this. Um, but. Dennis, if you could perhaps talk to Phil more about his, uh, his concerns, maybe there's something else we need to check with the, uh, um, I don't know, labor lawyer or whatever, it, about yeah, the potential. I'm saying, yeah, no, I'm going to address it. See, when I was, again, I'm wrestling with the dilemma on the insurance more than anything. Yeah, sure. All of it. Oh, yeah. Because, yeah. and, and, and yeah, that was paramount. The, the, right. the minimum wage, even if we were found to be violative, if you will. Right. The exposure is minimal. Right. But the insurance liability is phenomenal. We would never be able to employ anybody mm -hmm. uh, unless we had paid them substantial money. an independent contract, you wouldn't have to worry about it. Sure. But, but that's the exact point, though. The independent contractor, I check rates today with a number of companies, including our own, telling them that, look, we have this person who's going to need coverage because we're going to demand it. And the, the initial quote was in excess of $4,000. Right. It's very which, expensive. Right. Which means we drive her, who does not do this on a professional organized basis with other clientele, uh, totally out of our availability. 
follow. You wouldn't be able to get anybody. To yeah, you'd be, you'd be paying for. Four fifty a, a part. Yes, let's let's say it's paying. Exactly. Is, is she covered by insurance right now? It's part time. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and under the circumstances and the terminology I used in the contract, she would continue to be covered for that reason. And, and I'll allow the town also liability. God forbid if she's taking the pictures. And most of these things, well, his way is going to happen. She'll take the picture. I would assume from the the uh, window of her car. She'll right. never even exit the vehicle. You know, snap onto the next yeah, snap. Exactly. What I would be concerned about is her inadvertently hitting the gas pedal as opposed to the brake and, and get launching herself into some you know negligent situation. Yeah. Uh, you know, may hurt herself or someone else. We we are covered right. under this circumstance. Well, at that point, she's going compensation. We have, we, we have yeah. another. I mean, yeah. Oh, I mean, wait, I'm, I'm just. Oh yeah, it's ours. She she's ours. Well, we need to, I need to talk about this. A little bit. Not a problem. Okay. Well, no, let's, not a problem. Let's do that. Let's talk some more on it. Thursday or whatever. We have the right person, um, the right assignment. We just need to get the uh, the basics right. Well, I think if we can define what the questions are we want answered, we can go get the answers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So maybe okay. if well, you well, and Phil, I mean, yeah, better Phil, yet, better yet, Phil's got some experience on this. Oh yeah, I agree. Actually, right. Phil's background is such. But the point is, again, knowing we would be confronted with this, I went all through this ad nauseum to the point of being a pest. With our insurance carrier, right. uh, our brokers, etc. And, and sure. what we do is talk with them again. There's just to repeat it, that's all. Which I have no problem. Okay. You did, all right. you did say that, though, on uh, the second to the last page, mm -hmm. you also done the mm -hmm. price, that the uh, contract agrees with them to find safety and sound offices, blah, blah, blah. On the Negligence, way. yeah, it's a whole horrible thing. Yeah. Permitting liability and stuff. So right. It's a, but, but it's, I mean, it's quite, yeah, many times it doesn't. It has to do with the weight of the parties yeah. and the influence and the uh, particular uh, predicament the individual is when they sign these things. You know, the feeling that they have no choice to negotiate or otherwise. Uh, but no, Phil's comments are well taken. It's just that I, I believe they're addressed, but again, it's comfort level. Well, Phil's got an experience through a lawsuit. If he can share with you his, his issues, you figure it out, and then on a Thursday night we'll if we're ready, we'll do it. How's that? Yeah. Okay. What I'd like to do now then is just proceed on to uh, go into go into executive session with the intent not to return. The only one that I have a question on, Dennis, is the ADC litigation. Yes. Do we have to do that tonight? I would recommend to do. So then what we're going to do is we're going to have an executive session uh, to discuss the L3 tax tertiary. AD litigation, ADC litigation, Owens Road litigation, Time Warner franchise renewal, Village Town sewer negotiation status, JRC litigation case status, with the intent to return. Correct, because uh, it would be my thought that uh, at the re reconvened meeting, the one action that would need you to take would be resolution on ADC, should you so uh, right. deem it appropriate to proceed. Okay. Otherwise, there would be no other action. Would, would someone like to make a motion in that regard? Someone. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? <coughs> well, when we come back, we're going to do the rest of the items on the top? No. We're going to do those on Thursday. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, I, I, we're, we're, it's gonna, we're going to spend the bulk of tonight in the L3 yeah. Texas. Right. So I think that these are, we'll do fast up on top. <coughs> and, uh, well, there's no reason why we can't do one or two of them. We're actually going to come back for ADC. Yeah, you can probably see that. Okay. You could fine. We'll come back and just finish the agenda. Okay, okay. we can do that then. Okay. All right. What about Priscilla? No, we're going to take our own notes. Okay. Okay. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries.